well hello my lovely goddesses we are getting into the goddess series yet again so it's it's important to realize that we all have these qualities like divine feminine and divine masculine qualities but we really if we want to dive into a deeper understanding of like purpose and why things are built the way that they are, and where these sorts of magnetisms actually come from, it, it's really great to understand the little pieces of everything and how it comes together. Obviously, I'm holding these cards for a reason. We like to confirm the energy and the topic of what we're talking about for today. So, if you want to skip ahead three minutes, go ahead and do that. But if you feel called to this reading, definitely stick around and stay. But the first card that I pulled was the pleasure card. So, definitely understanding this law of attraction within the goddess, within divine feminine, has a lot to do with desire, temptation, and, and really bringing forth passion. And that comes from, you know deeper shadow places such as lust, love, uh, and, and a lot of other things, uh, not just lust and love, but it, it has, like, a lot of amplitude because of, uh, a lot of, you know, obviously a lot of our pleasure centers are down, under, and around, and, um, it's, it's kind of, like, a very stimulating thing, and this goes along to, if you've never watched any of my, like, uh, love, Sex, and Alchemy, I definitely recommend that video because it will talk a lot about sex magic. But, uh, you know, masculine obviously can can do the sex magic as well, but the point being is she has the fulfillment of pleasure as well as love, but it's also bringing a, a, an end to cycles, to, to toxic cycles, uh, negative, fearful, toxic low vibrational frequencies and just energies and learning how to transmute this sort of duality and duality aspect and turn it into a you know a place of love and pleasure through the darkness comes light she's basically a dark empath who dwells in below and finds light in dark places so that is like the best way to really describe that. But the goddess, what is she really all about? Because it's it's very much so about finding true self. But like finding true self, there's a lot to that path. There's a lot to that journey. And it's always going to be kind of like an ongoing journey like there's never going to be a finish line for finding yourself and finding your your own glory and your own like gain through whatever create creation that you're trying to make because we are creators we create magic we create love we create art we create music and we create videos <laughs> you know so that's it's our ultimate goal is to constantly be creating shifting and changing and rearranging our environment and the world around us so it's important to understand that the the reason we dive deeper into ourselves like whether it be through psychedelics meditation just inner understanding shadow work whatever it is like we go through all of this because we need to learn more we want to learn more there's a desire to understand and that is what the divine feminine does. She is kind of like this this dark detective empath who goes through shadow, shadow learning especially, and tries to really understand like why things work the way they do and why there are so many darker elements to life and how that can really bring uh bring back towards light uh through that understanding. It is four fifty five, by the way. Just saying. So understanding like her purpose through understanding and uh, will bring you a lot more of um, acceptance of who she is and how she operates because you will know that she's trying to understand 
I said that like three times, but it is, it's the truth. She's trying to understand. And so we have like this more of this acceptance and more balanced energy. And she kind of creates this balanced energy around us because she has that deeper understanding for things and how they operate. So it kind of like creates this balance naturally through understanding. So it's not really something. Drink your tea. You know, it's not really something that you can really, I guess, just see with your eyes. It's something that you really have to, you have to see the way she operates and you kind of have to examine and understand her for like, you know, a while, not just like a couple of weeks and, and see the way her intuition operates because intuition is tricky. It's very, it's very, um natural but to others like outside uh, like a third person view like it's it's never going to really make sense like it will make sense to the person seeing the intuitive message but it won't ever make sense to that person so she is like her own inner guide to following her own intuition and the the problem with that is is how much we're built around fear and and misunderstanding of the occult and of mag of magic and alchemy so there's this distorted idea of you know magic you know magic isn't real nothing nothing of esotericism really works and it brings this this lower vibration and it's basically saying that you're not capable because if you really understood alchemy and magic, the way that it actually operates, it's it's all based off of energy and communicating that energy. And if you can understand, you know, the universe is basically already created, then you can come right back to that understanding of like why you need to do these type of rituals and ceremonies to help the universe understand your alignment and your balanced energy and you trying to bring calmness around you. Like it, it, it picks up on that energy and it reads that energy and then it sees you putting effort into bringing a calm environment in the world around you. And so it just kind of magnetizes, it amplitudes, a amplifies that magnetism. So it's much, much stronger. And that's how you, that's also how you manifest faster is through that type of understanding. And self-worth. So it's like, basically, if you're denying magic and denying, denying alchemy, you're basically saying that you're not capable of creating a world around you. And you're probably just a pessimistic person. I'm not trying to be mean. No, but seriously. Like, there's there's usually a little bit of a pessimism uh, type of uh, mindset when it comes to, like, disbelief. So, but... But that's the thing is it's not always about completely understanding either. It's almost kind of just accepting things, accepting the universe and trusting the universe more than anything because that's really what the universe wants you to do. It wants to kind of push you off over this cliff and tell you, hey, look, I got my hand out here. I'm going to catch you too. <laughs> so it's going to push you off the cliff, but it's also going to catch you when you fall off the cliff. So. I don't know if that always happens, but <laughs> it, it basically does work that way. It's just a little bit harder to see because it's, 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 you know, we're in a school. Earth is a school and we're here to learn. And it, and it takes a lot of, you know, trial and error to really learn and experience that type of learning and understanding because that one's really deep. Life, death, duality is very deep to understand. Like you can, you can see it, you can say it. But experiencing it is a whole different, it's a whole different environment. It's a whole different energy. It's a whole different type of under understanding. And sometimes there's too much emotions, too much things going on for you to really truly understand it in the moment. So it's something that kind of comes over time, but also takes, uh, you know, different experiences and different, different situations for you to really understand the grasp of that type of message. So. The dark feminine, the dark goddess, the inner goddess, the union goddess, the goddess of self. She is in divine union when she is in her inner shadow and tr truly aligned with, you know, light and dark because it takes both to create a world. 
And so that's why she can seem um, very triggering and she can come off very, um, not necessarily malicious, but kind of maybe vicious at first if you don't understand how why she works the way that she does. Because she's not going to, one, she's also not going to put up with anybody's shit <laughs> and she's she's basically also going to create a beautiful world around her because although she may not be putting up with other people and you know lower vibrations and and just nonsense she's also going to bring a lot of really godly divine goddess energy to the table she's going to help manifest she's going to create beauty beautiful energy and vibrations around her and so things will feel calm they'll feel in place and they'll feel where they're supposed to be she is basically the light the light the warmth in the light so there's the light and the understanding but she's also this like inner warmth of the light i don't know maybe that was a silly analogy but she she brings this type of she's like the the energy that the I won't say blind you, but kind of like overcomes you. Like you ever see that that really bright light and it's just almost like hypnotizing, like you get stuck staring at it because it's just so warm and vibrant and it's like you just kind of like sit there and gaze. <laughs> so it's it's kind of, it's not, again, it's not something that you can really see. It's something that you feel energy and experience, so. That is the divine goddess and her amplitude of intuition to understand. It's important to understand. I know it may seem perpetuating or tedious to understand, but there's so much to learn. There's so much to experience. But having that intuition and that knowledge kind of allows you to really know that you don't have to have everything figured out. You don't have to understand how everything works and operates. You don't have to have this giant brain of knowledge and power and wisdom to truly understand. So that's also why the universe kind of pushes you off of this cliff and then catches you. So it can gain your sort of trust and understanding that, you know, even though you may not have everything figured out, life is figured out. It's not figured out, but it's figured out. So don't worry. <laughs> so yeah, that is where balance really comes from. Intuition and that guidance, that journey. It's going to bring you towards balance. Unity and balance. So I hope that message resonates. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And I hope you get ready for this full moon. Because I keep getting full moon readings even though it's like on the 6th. Or sorry, the 7th. It's in like 6 days. So I would just mentally, physically, energetically prepare for the full moon because it's going to be an interesting one. Love you guys. Peace.